Hi, I'm Matt Cottle from Cottle's Catch Seafood. Today we're gonna to discuss mussels. Mussels are one of my favorite things to cook for dinner. It's super quick, it's super easy, delicious, and quite economical too. So we're gonna go through the steps of purchasing your mussels, storing them at home, prepping them, cooking them, and then serving them. So come with me for some seafood success. Mussels are typically sold in these netted two pound bags. You'll find them at your local grocery store or seafood supplier, just like this. A uh, couple notes about this. Uh, when you're buying your mussels, you wanna make sure that this is attached. This is a harvest tag. So this is information on when your mussels came out of the water and it can give you insight onto how fresh they are. So typically, uh, mussels that are within five days out of the water are considered very fresh. At Coddles Catch, we get three shipments per week directly from PEI. Um, so we're constantly getting fresh mussels in. It's a two-day transport, so when they get into our shop, they're three days from harvest date. If you can buy them within the five to seven day window, you're looking at really fresh mussels. When stored properly, these mussels will last up to two weeks in your home refrigerator with no problem at all. If you don't see this harvest tag attached, that's a major red flag, and you should possibly uh, think about not purchasing the mussels, or at least questioning uh, where the harvest tag might be. Another thing to ask for when you're buying your fresh mussels is if you can get a little bit of crushed ice to go along with them. Now, unlike oysters and clams, Mussels actually love ice and crushed ice. It keeps them super cold and they love the environment of it. It keeps them very fresh. So seeing mussels stored on ice is a good sign. If you uh, don't see any ice surrounding your mussels or they're sitting out just in a counter getting dry, that's uh, not ideal. So you want to ask your fishmonger for a little bit of crushed ice. It's gonna help for your transport too. In the warmer months, you're gonna wanna make sure that these are kept cold. Uh, they're a little more volatile than an oyster, you know, left out of uh, refrigeration for more than an hour and things get a little bit risky. So a good fish supplier should be able to supply you with crushed ice, no problem. Okay, so we got our mussels safely home with the crushed ice that our fishmonger provided. Um, typically they're going to be given to you in a plastic bag. So mussels are alive and they do need to breathe. If you're just going to have them for dinner that night, it'd be okay to throw them in the fridge for a couple hours, no problem. But if you're going to store them for more than a day, I suggest that you take them out of the plastic bag. And you can keep them right in that netted bundle, that's fine. Just put them into a nice bowl and then a little bit of that crushed ice. Like I said, mussels love the crushed ice. So you're gonna put that crushed ice on and you're gonna throw that right into your refrigerator. Uh, another tip is if you're gonna store multiple days, you're just gonna to wanna to check your ice for melted water and drain that and then re-ice if you're gonna store. Five, six days in your fridge if stored properly, no problem. When you're ready to prepare your mussels, you just wanna grab them out of the refrigerator if you've had them stored, pull them out of that bowl. And if they're still in the netted bag, you just wanna break that open and pour them into another clean bowl. Dump them all in there, and now you can have a quick look, quick first inspection, and if you find something that's completely broken like that, you just wanna discard that right away. Uh, you may notice that a few are open right now. That's okay, mussels can open and close, depending on uh, what cycle they're in. So if they are open, we're gonna rinse them and prep them and they should close at that point. So we're gonna take them over to the sink for a more thorough inspection. All right, so now we've given our mussels a really good rinse. We're gonna give them a final inspection before we get them ready to go into the pan here. So I noticed a lot of the ones that were open a little bit when I first opened the bag have now closed up. So it's really important to do that shaking in the cold water to kind of awaken those mussels, get them to shut, close up. Now at this point, you wanna kinda of really give them a good look over, make sure that you're not having any broken ones or obviously open ones and these all look really good um, with the exception of this one here. So, you know, this one's open. You know, in a, in a bag of mussels that's two pounds, you might get a few that aren't gonna open, but I mean, they're so economical. It's not worth trying to cook something like that. It may be good, it may not be good. We always suggest just discard those ones at this point and carry on with all the ones that are closed, which will be 95% of your mussels. 
So we're gonna get our mussels going. We're gonna do a real simple recipe here. All you need is onions, garlic, tomato, and seafood stock, and your mussels, and you're done. So this is something I do all the time. So I've already got the oil hot and I've got my onions in there. We're just gonna let the onions go for about a minute or so, just to get brown. We don't want them to burn or anything, but I'm gonna get them soft. Uh, next thing to go in will be our chopped garlic. And again, it's like a minute here. I might give them just a little bit of stir around. Being careful not to burn either the onion or the garlic now, but definitely want them to get to know each other in the pan. So we're gonna let that go for just a minute or so. Next thing you wanna do is throw in your uh, seafood stock. So if you don't have seafood stock, you could use water. You could use white wine. A lot of people use white wine. You could use a combination of the two. I've got about, uh, I've got about one cup and a half here of seafood stock. So, you know, if you were cooking with water and wine, you'd do maybe a cup of water, half a cup of wine. Uh, the point with adding the liquid here is that's where you're gonna get your steam from. That's how you're gonna cook your mussels is with your steam. So, I'm gonna turn this up pretty high now because we're adding the liquid. I'm not worried about burning anything. So the liquid goes in our stock. And then I'm gonna just throw these tomatoes in too. Totally optional. I like the color that they bring and the flavor too. So now we got all that in. I'm gonna cover it up and now we're gonna bring it up to a full steam. Now we want this to boil. So that's gonna take maybe three to four minutes. Okay, it's been about five minutes now and we've got our pot up to a full steam. So the broth and liquid in there is at a full boil now, an aggressive boil. You want this on high. Uh, with mussels, you're cooking in the broth, but you're also cooking with the steam in there. So it's important that you're always using a high temperature. So um, I'm gonna open this up carefully. You can see all that steam there. That's beautiful. And now I've already inspected these mussels so that it can go straight into the pan. I'm just gonna grab handfuls and carefully put them in. You can put all your mussels in. You don't have to worry about uh, overcrowding. You know, as long as they're not overflowing the pan, that liquid's gonna come up around them and the flavor is gonna be great. So just don't overload it over the edge of the pan. The mussels will actually release a lot of liquid too that's gonna add to the flavor and the broth. So that's perfect right there. Got about a pound of mussels in there. We're gonna cover that again. We're gonna make sure that that's on high. That's very important. Um, if you're not got a high enough temperature, your, your mussels won't open all the way. They won't fully cook. So they'll open like a crack or like halfway, and then they might be a little undercooked, a little um, too tender, just not done properly. So that's the biggest thing with cooking mussels to remember. You need that steam, and you need it for about five to six consistent minutes. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes now. Uh, the broth is boiling up nicely here. We got steam coming out. So at this point, I like to get in there and stir the mussels around. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just carefully, again, remove your lid. Be careful of that steam, very hot. So we're at a very aggressive boil in here. The majority of the mussels are open at least halfway. So now I wanna make sure I get in there and just stir, stir around. The ones that to the outside, maybe put them towards the middle. The ones that were at the bottom move to the outside, just so they're getting even heat distribution here. You can see the volume in the pan has increased now with the mussels, so that's where it becomes important not to overload your pan, because the mussels opening, it takes up a lot more space. So this is perfect. There's visibly more liquid in there now too, uh, because of the amount that has actually come out of the mussels. So this looks really good. It's all tossed around. I'm gonna put the lid back on. Uh, we're about three minutes of now cooking. I'm gonna give it two more minutes and we're done. So just while we're waiting for our mussels to finish up here, uh, we can get our, the rest of our prep done. Now with mussels, again, this is one of the simplest seafood dishes you can do. So I like to keep it real, real simple. And what we got here is just a fresh baguette. I'm just gonna slice this up nicely and then our mussels are just gonna come out of there into a bowl, serve it with fresh bread and that's it. Another thing that's good about mussels though is the versatility. So you can do mussels in many different ways. You can do them the simple way here with the onions and the garlic and tomato. Like, like I said, you could add wine. Uh, you can also do them Thai style with the coconut milk and the curry. I love them that way too. 
Um, they're super versatile. You can put them in pasta, you can add them to seafood boils. There's a lot of things you can do with mussels. The key thing to remember is steam time. So you need to five to six minutes of steaming time no matter what way you're cooking them. They need to cook in that broth and get that steam to be done just right. Just nice slices. I love the bread with the broth. I mean, that's half the fun. You eat the mussel, but then you dip your bread in the broth, you butter it up. It's, you know, it makes the meal more substantial. You're getting the protein from the mussels, now you're getting the carbohydrates and the fat from your butter, and it's just perfect. So that's enough bread right there. And our mussels now are, are, are completely done. So it's been, again, five to six minutes of full steam. So I'm gonna actually turn these off, and we're gonna carefully remove our lid. Give them one last little toss around. They're all fully open now. They look beautiful, they smell amazing. And so I'm just gonna take them right off the heat now. I don't want them to keep cooking and I'll just remove them from the heat. Um, maybe let them cool for a minute or so before I uh, start plating them up. But uh, that's it, it's just that simple. Okay, so now we're gonna serve up our mussels. So again, we'll give them one last look. They're all nicely open. So we're just gonna scoop them right into a nice bowl. They look absolutely beautiful. You wanna make sure to get down there, get yourself some tomatoes, some garlic, some onion. That's gonna add nice color to your dish. And then most importantly, get that broth in there. You know, a couple of scoops for everybody is perfect. Couple pieces of bread on the side. And you're good to go. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Matt from Coddles Catch Seafood. Hope you enjoyed the video today. Follow along for more simple seafood ideas so you can have seafood success at home with your friends and family.